Hello, my name is Brent McCall with Ethereal Home Theater of the Metro Home Theater Group. Today we're going to discuss termination for Ethernet and for HD base T HDMI systems. The key to doing this properly is all about your work. It's not so much the cable, it's not the balance, it's all about the termination. So let's talk about what you, the installer, needs to do to make it right. With your Cat5, Cat6, Cat7, Spline, doesn't matter, there's a few things you have to do. When stripping your wire back, using a proper stripper, recommend you go back a little further than traditionally you have. The reason you're gonna do this is because once you unwind all of your conductors, get them all spread out and the wrinkles worked out of them, and for that I recommend using your thumb and forefinger on your opposite hand to work out the wrinkles. You get your color code laid out, 568A, 568B. We can argue forever about it, but in my opinion it doesn't make a difference because the only thing that changes in placement is orange and green, which are the same. Once you've got everything laid out, make sure your wires are nice and straight. Get your color code laid out, your A or B, whatever your choice is. Once you've made sure your color codes are correct, A pair of scissors is your best cutting tool. Not your dikes, not your wire cutters, a pair of scissors because you get a nice straight cut. Cut across the wires. Slide into your Cat5 terminal. In most cases, you're looking at it with the tab away. Wire facing down. Slide in. Make sure the wires are fully inserted. Do a quick visual inspection all the way around. Make sure that all the wires are fully inserted. Now, before you compress, verify that your outer jacket is underneath the knuckle. And take a look at your terminals head on. You will see eight copper dots. Those eight copper dots should all be equal in appearance before you compress. Do your compression. Make sure you go all the way down. Once again, re-verify the eight copper dots. You're looking for two things at this point. The first is to make sure that all the dots look the same, and the second is to make sure they're in a flat row. Any of these tools, over time, the die sets will wear out. When this happens, you'll start to see one or more of the conductors slightly higher than the others. If this happens, you're not going to get proper bandwidth and you will run into issues. Whether it's networking or HD base T, the same principles apply. Always make sure that all eight conductors are fully inserted, Make sure that all the copper dots are easily visible and that they're all perfectly flat. The thickness of a dollar bill reset is all it takes to kill you in networking or HD base tape. For more information, go to the website at www.etherealhometheater.com or call us at 866-839-9187. Thank you.